What's up guys, it's Kalen, and in this video we'll be taking a look at Frost Mages on the battle for Azeroth Beta. We're going to be looking at their baseline abilities and passives as well as their talents and PvP talents. Now as far as changes go, there really aren't that many compared to some other classes and specs, but just like my other overview videos, this video is not meant to tell you which talents to pick for the best DPS, or if Frost is better than the other specs at DPS, this is merely to show you what's to come. So. Let's get started. So here are all the baseline abilities for Frost Mages. So there's Blink. Blink is unchanged, 15 second cooldown, you use it, and of course you teleport forward for 20 yards or until you reach like some obstacle. And it also still frees you from all stuns and bonds, so not changed. Uh, counter spell is not changed, 24 second cooldown. This is your interrupt, of course. Remove Curse is returning. So this was actually removed in a Legion, and it does the same thing from before it was removed. Eight second cooldown, and it removes all curses from a friendly target. So that's awesome that that's returning. Uh, and then there's Spell Steal. Spell Steal is unchanged. You know, you can steal a beneficial mag magic effect from a target, and that effect can last up to a maximum of two minutes. Uh, ice Block is, of course, not changed. Four minute cooldown. You know, you, you encase yourself in a block of ice, protecting you from all attacks and damage from 10 seconds. And then you all obviously cannot move or attack uh, in those 10 seconds. And then after it's over, it causes hypothermia, preventing you from casting Ice Block again for 30 seconds. And then there's Cone of Cold, not changed, 12 second cooldown. It's a frontal AoE cone that slows enemies in front of you for 70% for five seconds. Blizzard is also not changed. You can put down a Blizzard, it does AoE in a certain radius, and it reduces target's movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds for every target in there. And then each time Blizzard deals damage, the cooldown of Frozen Orb is reduced by 0.5 seconds. So it's not changed. Cold Snap is not changed. Five minute cooldown resets the cooldown of Ice Barrier, Frost Nova, Cone of Cold, and Ice Block. Uh, and then there's Icy Veins, you know, your main DPS cooldown, 3 minute cooldown, accelerates your spell casting for 20 seconds, granting 30% haste and preventing damage from delaying your spell casts. So, it's uh, not changed. Polymorph is of course not changed, you can turn someone into a sheep, you can turn them into a cat, a, a penguin, I don't know what other glyphs mages can do for polymorph. They can turn enemies into, into compies and be a fan of that. But it's a CC. You can only use it on beasts, humanoids, and critters. It's not changed. Slow fall is not changed. You can slow the falling speed of a party member. And then actually none of these damaging abilities are changed. So Frost Nova is, you know, a CC, 30 second cooldown. If roots someone in place for 8 seconds and then damage can interrupt the effect. Frozen Orb, 1 minute cooldown. You send a frozen orb in front of you deals damage to enemies in a radius around it, and then it grants one charge of fingers of frost when it first damages an enemy, and then enemies damaged by the frozen orb are slowed by 50% for 15 seconds. So it's not changed. Frost Bolt, you know, your main filler move, slows enemies down by 50% for 15 seconds. Then there's Ice Lance, instant cast ability. Ice Lance damage is tripled against frozen targets, so that is also not changed. And then Flurry, unleash a flurry of ice, striking the target three times for a total of some frost damage. Each hit reduces target's movement speed by 70% for one second. While Brain Freeze is active, Flurry applies Winter's Chill, causing your target to take damage from your spells as if they were frozen. So, that is also not changed. As I mentioned before, most of these abilities are not changed. Invisibility, also not changed. 5 minute cooldown. Turn invisible over 3 seconds. Uh, resets all your threats in the last 20 seconds. And then damage can cancel the effect. Uh, Ice Barrier is also not changed. 25 second cooldown. Shields you and absorbs some damage over 1 minute. And then melee attacks reduce the target's movement speed. And then there's summon Water Elemental. So I'm going to call my Water Elemental just to show you what it looks like. That is the new uh, Water Elemental model. Looks cool. A uh, water elemental, I mean, not really changed. It's just that the water elemental no longer has the ability water jet. So just as a uh, water bolt, which is its main move, and then freeze, which is just like your frost nova. So yeah. And then arcane intellect. Arcane intellect is coming back. So this was actually removed in Cataclysm and it's returning. A lot of classes are getting their class buffs back. Mages are one of them. All mages are getting arcane intellect. So what this does is it grants your entire raider party with 10% intellect increase for one hour. So that's awesome that that's returning. And the time warp of course is your, you know, heroism or bloodlust. It's not changed. Five minute cooldown. Increases everyone's haste by 30% in your party or raid uh, for 40 seconds and then allies will not be able to benefit. It gives them, you know, the exhaustion debuff. Conjure refreshment is not changed. You can make food for people and then you know your teleport and uh portal spells are still there it only has one spell just because i i just made this character i didn't transfer a character from live so he only has uh which one he only has orgrimmar and also mages can still learn 
teleport to Undercity and they can still learn teleport to Darnassus. But if you teleport to Undercity, it teleports you in front of Undercity where it's all burnt down because as we know, Undercity got burnt down in BFA. And then if you teleport to Darnassus, if an Alliance Mage does it, it teleports them to Darkshore overlooking the burning of Darnassus. So yeah, there's there's that. Now let's take a look at the passive abilities, which there's actually more changes to the passive abilities than baseline abilities, which is it's kind of new for all these class overviews. So first up, we have Brain Freeze here. Now as you see there, Frostbolt has a 25% chance to empower your next Flurry to be instant cast on live. That's a base of 15%, but your artifact weapon may that go up to 23%. As we know, we won't have artifact weapons anymore, but now it's a base of 25%. Uh, and it deals 50% increased damage and applies Winter's Chill to the target. Winter's Chill causes the target to take damage from your spells as if it were frozen. And then there's Fingers of Frost. So Frostbolt has a 15% chance on live. That's 12% and Frozen Orb has a 10% chance on live that's also 12% to grant a charge of Fingers of Frost. So on live they both are 12% but in BFA they increase Frostbolt's percent and just slightly lower Frozen Orb's percentage. And then Fingers of Frost causes your next Ice Lance to deal damage as if the target were frozen and it has a max of two charges. So now your Mastery which has just slightly been changed. So casting Frostbolt or Flurry, Flurry is a new addition to it, grants you an Icicle. Casting Ice Lance causes all Icicle stores to begin launching at the target, each dealing some frost damage. Up to five Icicles can be stored, any excess Icicles gained will be automatically launched, so that part is the same, but it will also increase the damage of Frozen Orb by some percentage based off your mastery. So buff to Frozen Orb with your mastery and it no longer increases the damage of your water elemental. Uh, and then Shatter is not changed, multiplies the critical strike chance of your spells against frozen targets by 1.5 and adds an additional 50% critical strike chance. So here are all the talents and I'll also go over PvP talents in case you care about those. But for the talents, kind of just like the baseline abilities, uh, there has been some changes, but not a whole lot, I guess, compared to other classes. But anyways, the first tier, for Bone Chilling, just a small change to it. So it, it does the same thing. Whenever you attempt to chill a target, you gain Bone Chilling, increasing spell damage you deal by 0.5% for eight, 8 seconds, and that stacks up to 10 times. On live, that's uh, 12 times. And then for Lonely Winter, so it, it still replaces Summon Water Elemental. You can no longer summon your Water Elemental, but Frostbolt, Ice Lance, and Flurry deal 25% more damage. So it no longer affects Frozen Orb. That's probably because your Mastery now affects Frozen Orb. Your Mastery increases the damage of it. So, uh, Lonely Winter does not. And then Ice Nova was moved up a few tiers, and it hasn't really been changed. It was just kind of reworded, I think. So it's still 25 second cooldown. It causes a world of icy wind around the enemy, dealing some frost damage to the target, and then some frost damage to all other enemies within 8 yards, and freezing them in place for 2 seconds. So, I don't think in retrospect it's been changed, but more of a rewording, and it was moved up a few tiers. So the second tier just has, I think, two changes to it. So one of them is Glacial Insulation. Ice Barrier increases your armor by 200% while active. On live, that's 100%, so it did get a buff. And Ice Block applies Ice Barrier to you when it fades. And then there's Shimmer. So Shimmer... It, do it does the same thing as on live, it still replaces Blink, it's essentially just like Blink with two charges, but it has a 20 second recharge now. So on live it's a 15 second recharge, and BFA it's going to be 20 second recharge, which is kind of a, a pretty big nerf because Blink has a 15 second cooldown, so it's going to increase the cooldown of Blink by 5 seconds, but then it gives it its second charge, so it turns into like a double edged sword kind of thing. And then Ice Flows is a not change at all. 3 charges, 20 second recharge, makes your next mage spell with a cast time shorter than 10 seconds castable while moving, unaffected by the global cooldown and castable while casting. And then the third tier, level 45 tier, is actually not changed at all, completely unchanged. Encanter's Flow builds up to increasing your damage by 20%, and then that dis diminishes down to 4%, and then that cycles every 10 seconds. Uh, Mirror Image creates three copies of yourself, two minute cooldown, and those copies uh, cast spells and attack your enemy. And then Rune of Power is not changed, 40 second cooldown. You place a Rune of Power on the ground for 10 seconds, which increases your spell damage by 40% while you stand within 8 yards of it. And then the level 60 tier had some changes here and there. So Frozen Touch, I believe is completely changed. So Frostbolt grants you Fingers of Frost and Brain Freeze 20% more often. And then Chain Reaction, this actually used to be an artifact trait, but they've changed it into a talent. But the thing is, it's actually pretty changed. I don't think it's like the same as its artifact trait iteration, but what it will do in BFA is your Ice Lance against frozen targets increases the damage of your Ice Lances by 3% for 10 seconds, and that sucks up to 5 times. And then Ebonbolt should look familiar to all you Frost Mages because that was the main artifact ability 
uh, that your artifact granted you, well, it's it's completely unchanged. It's just becoming a talent now. That's it. So still 45 second cooldown. Launches a bolt of ice at the enemy, dealing frost damage and granting you brain freeze. Then the level 75 tier is actually completely unchanged. Not changed at all. Frigid winds passive. All your chilling effects reduce the target's movement speed by an additional 15%. Ice ward grants ice nova or frost nova. I mean, uh, two charges. And then ring of frost also not changed. 45 second cooldown. You put down a ring of frost for 10 seconds. Enemies that walk into it and then walk out of it become frozen for 10 seconds and it limits uh, 10 targets. So for Freezing Rain, this actually used to be an artifact trait, but they've also changed this one into a talent. So it has a slight change to it. So Frozen Orb makes Blizzard instant cast. That part is the same, but it will also increase its damage done by 35% for 12 seconds. And then Splitting Ice. So this was moved down a few tiers and the second effect of it is new. So the first effect, your ice lands and icicles now deal 5% increased damage and hit a second nearby target for 80% of their damage. That part is the same on live. But then the second part, your Ebb and Bolt and Glacial Spike also hit a second nearby target for 80% of its damage. And then Comet Storm. So this was moved up a tier, but it's completely unchanged, not changed at all. So it's still a 30 second cooldown, calls down a series of seven icy comets on and around the target that deal up to some frost damage to all enemies within six yards of its impact. So not changed. And then the level 100 tier. So Thermal Void is not changed. It increases Icy Veins' duration by 10 seconds and your Ice Lances against frozen targets extend your Icy Veins by an additional one second. So not changed at all. A Ray of Frost was moved all the way down to the last tier. So it used to be on the first tier. Now it's all the way down to the last tier. Its cooldown was increased from one minute to 1.3 minutes. It channels an Icy Beam at the enemy for some seconds. On live, I believe it's just a strict 10 seconds in BFA. It seems like it's a four ish seconds based off your haste. And it deals frost damage every 0.8 ish, one second, 0.9, depending on your haste, and slowing movement speed by 60%. On live, that's 50%. So it increases the amount slowed. And then each time Ray of Frost deals damage, it, its damage and snare increases by 10%. So that part is new on live. It used to just increase its damage by 20%. So they removed that and then added that last effect. And it still generates two charges of Frosted Fingers over its duration. And then Glacial Spike is not changed at all. So you conjure a massive spike of ice and merge your current icicles into it. It impales your target, dealing some damage, plus all of the damage stored in your icicles and freezes the targets in place for four seconds. Damage may interrupt to the freeze effect and it requires five icicles to cast. Ice Lance no longer launches icicles. So Glacial Spike is not changed at all. So those are all the talents. Now let's take a look at the PvP talents. If you're unaware of how PvP talents will work in BFA. This is how it goes. You have these four bubbles here. And this first bubble is the same for all classes and all specs. It is Adaptation, Relentless, and Gladiator's Medallion. They're not changed at all. They're all the same as on live, and they're all on the first tier on live. So you still get to pick between one of these three. But as you can tell, it's no longer on a tier system. So these next three bubbles are a giant pool of your already existing PvP talents. So you get to between any of these, three of any of these. So three you might really like that are on the same tier on live. You can pick them in BFA, but they did just uh, prune a few of them off. So you can obviously pick them as long as they're still in the game. So yeah, it's no longer on a tier system. Now, as far as changes go, there haven't really been many changes, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mouse over them. If you wanna know what they do, you can pause the video or look at your Frost Mage. But for the ones that have been changed, I'm going to, of course, talk about what those changes are. So there's Dampened Magic, Kleptomania, Chilt to Bone, Frostbite, Deep Shatter, which Deep Shatter still has the same first effect. Your Frostbolt deals 150% additional damage to frozen targets. On live, it had a second effect, which was kind of a, a negative thing to it. And the second effect said Frostbolt, Frozen Orb, Blizzard, Freeze, and Water Jets can no longer generate Fingers of Frost. Uh, that part has been removed, as you can tell. So then there's Concentrated Coolness, which uh, had a little bit of nerf to it. So Frozen Orb's damage is increased by 100% on live, that's 225%, and is now castable at a location with a 40 yard range, but no longer moves. And then there's uh, Burst of Cold, Ice Form, Netherwind Armor, Temporal Shield, and Prismatic Cloak. And those are all the PvP talents as well as all of the normal talents. And there you have it. All the changes to Frost Mage is coming in the Battle for Azeroth pre-patch, which is coming on July 17th. So I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you like the changes or do you hate them? You can let me know in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.